Hi, Shalom, Shalom from Israel. This is Ola, the daughter of Jethro. And I just heard that you black people that was stolen from Africa to America, that you don't know who you are. But you are the children of, of Yahweh. The children of Israel. Yehawa. And I'm telling you, you have to come back to your homeland, here to Zion, to Jerusalem, because us the Gentiles, we do need you. We need you to come and pray because you are our saviors. You the one that was chosen by Yahweh to live in this yeah, land, not the Jewish people, it's you. You were stolen from Africa, they deceived you, they told you that you are slaves, but you actually the children of Israel. And it's time just to come, come back. Come for, for your people, come back for us, come back for the whole Gentiles because only you. Only you gonna save us. So please come back to Zion. Come on. And we will through the Spirit of our Lord. Kwami Asha'Allah. Kwami Asha'Allah. Which means Israel. Israel rise. Okay. With that I would like to say. Kal Halal. Yahweh Ba'ashim. Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim. Rukwak. Wadash. The water Yahweh for giving us Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who have the 100% spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashim and Shai in them. Double honors to the Connecticut elders of GMS, our big brothers. Greetings and salutations to the brothers in this country and all over the world who are prophesying in the true name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, the king of the universe, which is none other than power of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and anybody who are descendants from those people on their father's side. All right, shalom to those uh, who are scared of the brush, shalom to the Akim and Akwath. All right, I am your Aikwa. All right, Khan, so, you know, I uh, just want to do another a little quick video on this and back on the Basics channel. I haven't done a video on the Basics channel yet in a while. Um, and, um, yeah, so, you know, that's an old video that, that that's a few years old, you know, and um, just wanted to bring it out to light again. I showed brothers over the weekend, or uh, this past weekend, and... Um, you know, figure I'd do a video on, it, video on it again because this is where we're at in the world right now, man. And you see a pe other people, here it is, you people don't know the, who you are, that we are the chosen people, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, and again, people who descend on, from those people on their father's side, all right, through the seed of their father, through the lineage of their father. Here it is, you don't know who you are, but, right, that's what the scripture saying in Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Uh, when you look at the word destroyed in Hosea 4 or 6, it means a demolition, something that's broke down, you know, and our people are, have been, uh, um, have been, have been, um, how should I say, have been demoed on or been uh, demolished, you know, by the spirit of, of the most high. Why? Because we turn our back on him. But you people don't know who you are. But here there's other people know who we are. And the point is, I just want to tackle in this show that, that, that we are wanted, that we are needed through the spirit of Yahweh Shema And the only way we're going to come back um is through our lord that's the only way we're going to come back so really it's not about us it's about yahweh shy it's about him coming back all right and to raise us up into his spirit okay so that's what we say israel rise so i'm just thinking about a few scriptures i just want to bring out but again i don't know what the title is going to be in the show but it's basically you know to the to the effect that you know that you Israelite men, we have we have to we have to rise and wake up. You have to rise. Why? Because you're needed. We are needed. And you're only gonna rise through the spirit of our Lord. Alright? Through the spirit of our Lord. So let me just get scripture. I'm just thinking of off, off the top through the spirit. I'm thinking about first that number one, it's all about Yahweh Shai, man. This is his day. Okay, this is his day. It's all about him. And we're just joint heirs. Alright. It's all about Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, and we got to wait on him. So I'm thinking about that script. Okay, because if you see us, and I always tell us to Akim too, I say, you look at a brother, you're looking at Yahweh Shai. Okay, uh, you looking at, you, if you're looking at a man of the Lord, you're looking at Yahweh Shai. All right, you're looking at a glimpse of the Lord, man. Okay, through the spirit, through the spirit. All right, let's get, a, this is Zechariah. Okay, Zechariah. Mm 
Um, it's actually Zephaniah, all right? All right, so I'm going to start off. It's verse 8. It says, Zephaniah, uh, chapter uh, 3, verse 8. It reads, Therefore, wait ye upon me. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. And who's the prey? All the wicked. All right, so there's plenty of prey uh, uh, that that the hunters, going back to Jeremiah 16 and 16, that we're going to be hunting for uh, through the spirit, through the spirit of righteousness. And we're going to be, um, through the spirit of the Lord, uh, 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 terminating and, 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 and uh, extinguishing the wicked. We're going to be exterminating the wicked, man. Through the spirit of our Lord. Starting with Yahweh Shai. Salak, Salak. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I might assemble the kingdoms to pour upon my, them, them my indignation. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. That's talking about World War III. And World War III can't happen on its own. World War III just don't happen by you thinking about it. It's going to be actually played out. Like right now. We are in World War III. All right? Just because America is not, America is involved by proxy wars, Russia too. We're in World War III, all right. But pretty soon it's going to be seen on 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 on. It's going to be seen on a global level once America and Russia get involved, and once America, which they are, been doing tampering with Iran, fuck with these other nations, man. You know, before World War, there's trade wars. Is it not true that Trump? Set up all these tariffs and sanctions and regulations against China and all these other countries. Their so-called peers and businesses, right? Right? What's the term? Regulations, um, tariffs, and there's another word I'm missing. You know, that's what he did. So before World War, there are trade wars. And I always say when you mess with somebody's money, a fight breaks out. Okay, you mess with somebody's business, a war break, fight breaks out. And that happens on low levels and on high levels, government levels, continents, all right, powers. So it's World War Three is not going to come, or the Lord's ignition is not going to come by this is the Lord doing this. He's the one that's going to muster up the battle in the in the Valley of what? The Valley of Decision, which is over there in the Middle East, which proves to you that uh, something's going to go down there. A lot of interests go back to the Middle East, which is what mineral resources, starting with oil, which is called liquid gold. And, and, and also, another thing that funds this damn devil, uh, uh, the poppy seeds in Afghanistan, you know, that, that, which is the key ingredient to these drugs that the pharmaceutical companies control you zombies by. Okay, this is why the devil is over there, over there in the first place. I mean, the war is, gonna, war is already breaking out, but it's going to bring out on a bigger scale. Okay, and that's, that's the Lord doing that. Why? To bring in this World War Three, and we got to wait on him to do that. Again, therefore, wait upon me, said the Lord, till I rise up against the prey, the praise of the wicked, for the determination is to gather the nations, which is happening now, that it may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon, the kingdoms are the different governments, to pour upon them my indignation, which indignation goes back to the word provoke, or ignite, which you can't ignite something without provoking it, without agitating it first, like your ignition to a car. So the Lord's ignition has been provoked by wickedness, all right? All done by the so-called white man and two-thirds of our people. All right. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth it should be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. For then will I turn to the people of pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him to with one consent. That's right. Not only uh, will we'll be one with the Lord because the Lord is going to put the natural laws that he gave to us in our hearts, which is our mind, which is going to be natural instinct. Just like how a little snake is born in a, a garden snake is born in a river and cracks the egg and just starts swimming off and lives life and knows exactly what to do. That's how the men of the Lord, we're going to be as a nation in the kingdom of heaven. We're going to be, do the, we're going to be righteous, like natural instinct, like blinking your eyes, like breathing. It won't be a thought, right? And eventually we will be, we will, we, we will be kings and priests. Let me get that to the whole world, teaching you the laws, statutes and commandments. Is a revelation by it says in the book of Revelation, which means to reveal. In the book of Revelation, it tells you 
that what the fifth chapter, that what? Revelation 5 and 10, and it has made unto us unto our power, Yahweh by Shai, kings and priests, and we shall reign on earth. We're going to rule on earth, right? And we're going to rule by what? By rules. And that's going to be the, the, the most high's rules, righteous spiritual rules that's going to be put in the kings, which are the gender are men. Priests are men. Right? That's why it's going to be kingdom of heaven. It's going to be all men ruling, man. <laughs> it's going to be all men ruling. No women saying a goddamn thing. That's another reason it's going to be the kingdom of heaven. You women are going to be quiet in those days, in that day. Forever. Back in your natural order. Everything's going to be back, be put back in order. In the natural order of things, the Lord chose his people to, to rule and to rule with his rules upon the whole world. And you and the nations are going to follow suit. They, you begging for it already. That's what it says. It says what? To serve him with one consent. All right. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my supplications, even my daughter of, of my dispersed shall bring mine offering. In that day shall thou not be ashamed for all thy doings when thou hast transgressed against me. For then will I take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in the pride, and thou shalt no more be haughty because of the of the of my holy mountain. I'm gonna skip down to 14 because this is this this involves this too. This is what the Lord's gonna to do to, to the nation of Israel and make us uh, uh, um, flourish before all the nation's eyes. Okay. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Zion means to remember, remember a monument. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all thy all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away the, thy judgments. He hath cast out thine enemy, the king of Israel. Even the Lord is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil any more. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion let not thine hand be slack. The Lord, thy power in the midst of thee is mighty. He will he he will save. He will he will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for a solemn assembly, who are of thee, to whom the the reproach of it was was a burden. Behold, at the time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted. And gather her that was driven out. That's the nation of Israel, because we're considered a woman, a woman to the Lord. You know, the whole nation as 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 a as a as a wife to the Most High, to the Lord. Yahweh Shimon Shai says, "Behold, that I will I will undo all that afflict thee, and who's afflicted us? Who's oppressed us? The so-called white man. All right, and all you are the nations, right? And I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out, and I will and we were driven out of our land." Right? And she said, we were taken from our land. We're going to be put back in our land. Where do you think that old slavery son comes from? Swing low, sing chariot, and carry me home. Right? That was talking about we the first the first slaves knew that they're Hebrew Israelites. And we knew that this we need to go. We the chariots would represent the, the salvation you tool of the most high is the so-called UFOs. Those are the ships that's going to carry us back home. It says, the Lord, that power in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for a psalm assembly who are of thee to whom the reproach. Of, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Behold, I will, at that time, I'll undo that afflict thee and I will save her that halteth and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. All right. We've been put to shame, especially in America. Right, and it, uh, you know, like it says on Hosea. Um, well, let me let me let me finish this. Let me get that Hosea. This is Hosea. Hosea, one and ten. It reads, "Yet the number of children of Israel should be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered." Right. So, meaning that it proves that this is not a black thing. Right, because, or or um, or if that or her, or even is is so called black Latino and Americans are the children of Israel. But I always say, what in the intro, and um, and anybody who are descendants of those people through their fathers through their father's side. All right, so you can very well uh, uh like I always like to use Bruce Lee. 
look Chinese, but really he goes back to being an Israelite by his spirit, right? So that means if we were to, if, if we are the sands of the sea and you pick up a, a sand in the palm of your hand, you can't number that. The Lord said, we are the, the whole sea, we are the sand of the sea. You can't number that. You can't remember a sand in your hand. So that, if that were the case, that means we would have to be dispersed throughout the whole earth and we, have, we would have to be born into other nations because, yes, reincarnation is in the scriptures, right? We would have to be born into the other nations. That's why a lot of the Italian people are what? Especially in Sicily, in Sicily Italy, those are really so-called black people or they really go back to black people. Why? Because the Moors conquered a lot of parts of Europe, which is one of them was Italy. The Irish, they go, you got some called the black Irish. The Irish people, they go back to uh, um, so-called black people. So a lot of the Irish, a lot of the uh, um, uh, Italians, most of them, I'll say over 60% are, 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 are Jake. Germ a lot of people in Germany, Polish, definitely Poland, they're Jakes. You know? So we would have to be spread, dis dispersed all over the world for that to happen, to be, to be as a sand of the sea. Because that, if, that was a, if that wasn't the case... Right then, then we wouldn't make that up because if you count all the black, so-called black and Hispanics, that doesn't make up the world, right? That's why it's all by seed. It said, "Yet the number of the children of Israel should be the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. It should come to pass that in that place where we send unto them, ye are not my people. There it should be sent unto them, ye are the sons of the living power." And we were, and, and you put to shame when you're called not a people. We were called not a people in America. So much so we were called three-fifths of a man. It was written publicly and declared in the Constitution that we were nothing but animals. That's the whole reason why slavery happened, because they said we weren't human. They said we were supposed to be subject, subject, sub, subjugated on the, on the um, uh, slavery and treated that way, because we weren't human. So this, where, was it, where were we not called the people? Where were we not called actually a human being? When in all actuality, we are human, because human means color. So who's really not the human being? You know. The devil, the so-called white man. The nation of Edom, it says, the nation of Edom, it says, it should come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, you are not my people, because we weren't even considered people in America. There it should be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. So in the same place that we were said, we're not the people of the Lord, and it was declared here in America, right, by way of slavery, by way of the, uh, um, Willie Lynch letter by way of the uh, Jim Crow laws that we weren't a people, but here in this place here we're we're called we are called we are being called the people of the Lord. It started here in America first with through the spirit of Yahweh Shemashai upon Abba Bivens in 1969. This is when the truth of who we are started to spring forth, which is biblical prophecy, by the way. Okay, and then it says, then, then the children of Judah and the children of Israel should be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and it should come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. And Jezreel basically means the, the seed of the Most High. All right, seed of the Most High. All right. Which is, which is us. Which is the seed as a prince, as a son, the children. Okay, of the Most High power. All right. Um, where was I? It says, okay, so that's how we put the shame, right? But the Lord says he's going to give us fame in every land where we put the shame, right? It says at the time, but not in Americans going to be destroyed, but we're going to be, we're going to be famous all over the world. Start with our Lord Yahweh Shai. It says, and at that time, I will bring you again, even that time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, said the Lord. All right. So that's one scripture I thought of when she said that. And another one is that she said, we need you. Basically, well, you are our saviors. You know, so when I say, come here, shall rise you rise up, you men. I'm thinking about this script. It's Isaiah. I believe 47. Or excuse me, 50. Yeah, 52. It's Isaiah 52, right? Arise, Kormirashala, Kormirashala. We are wanted, we are needed, men of Israel. You so-called black man, you so-called Native American man, you so-called Latino man, anybody who descends from those people on their father's side, like I always say, right? Isaiah 52, awake, 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 awake. Put on thy strength, 
Kom Yashala. All right? Kazakim, I believe that strength. Kazakim. Awake, awake, put on my strength, O Zion. O Zion means a monument, something to remember. All right? When you put up a monument, it's, it's for you to remember the people who passed on or died. So we are, we have passed on, we have died, but we're brought back to life by the Lord Yahweh Shai, pertaining to Ezekiel 37, 37th chapter. Right? The breath is being put back in us. Right? So what's, what she's saying is going to happen. We are going to come back to save the world only through the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Right? So it says, awake, awake, put on thy strength. Who's our strength? Yahweh Shai is through the most high power. That's how you put on the strength. That's how we rise back up. It says, O Zion, right? A monument. Put on thy beautiful garments. Or, your, or Yerushalayim, which means the prince of the power. The holy city. The sanctified city. The separated city from the rest. Right? Or Amos 3 and 2. Only you have I known from all the families of the earth. Therefore, I punish you for all your iniquities. The Lord don't know the family of the earth. He only knows one family, the nation of Israel. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. The holy city. For henceforth, there shall no more come unto thee the uncircumcised and, un and the unclean. All right? Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down. O Jerusalem, loose thyself from the bands of thy neck. Get that slavery thing. Get get that slavery buckle off your neck. Stop being copper top. Stop being robots. Rise in the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shai, from the power of Yahweh, and ultimately uh, uh, get out of that slave mentality of this world. Get up. Get out of the mentality of this world. Which which really talk about you you Jake out there really up in America's ass man, up in the so called white man system. What good about that shit? It's not for us to survive or, or thrive. This is for our downfall, man. You see what they're doing over the world. They're doing the D word upon us, man. 500 million. 500 million people on earth. We're not included in their plan. In their world. So it says, For henceforth there shall no more come into the un excuse me, shake thyself in the dust, arise, which is that confused state. Get out of that confused state. Get out of that black conscious shit. Get out of that all America shit. Get out of that. Get out of any philosophy besides you, the, your starting with the name of the Lord. You got to get back to Yahweh by Shema Shai, or you will, you'll be destroyed. Arise and sit down, O Yerushalayim. Loose thyself the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. We are held captive here in America, man. That is world now. That is world now that we were slaves here. Captivity means slavery. For thus said the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Yeah, we were we were sold. They were making a thousand percent profit of, of the of on the transatlantic slave trade, of musket, guns, and wine, of textiles, of clothes, of spices, of food. All right, selling a boy for a harlot. We were sold for no money. We were picking cotton over there, which cotton and silk were the major. Things that, that really flourished uh, the international bankers. That was the first commodity, the first investment. Was the first business was cotton. But that made this, these bankers rich. And we didn't get paid for that. It says, For thus the Lord, ye have sold yourselves, for not ye, have sh ye shall be redeemed without money. The Lord, gonna, he's going to bring us back without money. He brought us back to the blood of our Lord Yahweh Shai dying for us, man. Right? And he's going to redeem us again uh, 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 very soon. It says, For thus of the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for not, ye, ye should be redeemed without money. For thus of the Lord power, my people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there, and, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Yeah, the e Egypt represents America. Egypt represents bondage, which is America. You got a social security number, right? And you also have basically what the stat is, what? There's 8 billion, 8 billion people on earth. America's population is 330 million, which makes up about 5% of the world's population. But here it is, 25% 25, 25 of the people locked up in the world are in America, incarcerated, in, uh, in jail. And who, and who fills, what's the, what's the nationality of the people who are mostly locked up? In a, which is 25% people who are incarcerated in the world. That's our people, the so-called black man, the nation of Israel, Israelite man, the Native American man, the Latino man, the kings of the new world. 
So this is Egypt. It seems to represent America as well. Without cause. Why are we put into slavery? Why were we treated this way from the so-called white man? He had, no, he had no reason. It was the most high's business why he did this to us. Not your business. You furthered the affliction, man. We, we, we here to serve a punishment. Not to be voting and not to be electing officials or being running for to be a mayor or governor like these bitches do in our societies. Oh, n and niggas too. Now, therefore, what have I here? What have I here, said the Lord, that my people is taken away for not that they rule over them, rule over them, make them to howl, said the Lord, and my name continuing every day is blasphemed. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that does speak. Behold, it is I. And that's what's happening, man. At the end of the day, they're going to know that the Lord uh, is, is dealing with the men of the Lord, starting with the apostles of GMS. And you're going to see Yahweh Shai, man, crack them skies. The world's going to see him. The world's going to see him, man. And the people, she's going to get her wish. She looked kind of good, too. That could be a concubine as well, you know. Or she might be a Jake. Might be an Israelite. All right. Look, look, beautiful woman, too, as well. Real hair. Okay. Looking good. So anyway, that's all I got. You know, just wanted to point that out that look, the men that were wanted, you know, and you got to rise within the spirit of the Lord, you Israelite men. Why? Because we're gonna be we're gonna be rulers, man. We're gonna be rulers in the next world to come, the true government body and the only government body with our Lord Yahweh Shah. Let me get Isaiah 69. Or 9, 9 and 6. Isaiah 9 and 6 it says, For for unto us a child is born. Uh, and unto us the son is given, Yahweh Shai. And the government, and the government, which government means to control, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name, and who's, and, and he don't, guess what? He has a government body. Lord willing, I pray I'm a part of that. Strong with the apostles of GMS, and everybody who preaches the name of Yahweh Shai, a man of the Lord, he can very, very well be, well, he is a, a, a part of the government body. The 144,000 men, the next rulers to come in the next world. We're going to be part of that government. We're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from hence from henceforth even forever the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. And that's the Lord. Start with Yah Yahweh Shai and Vice President King David is gonna be that way forever, man. You know, Isaiah forty five and seventeen, I gotta get that too. But Israel should be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You should not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. Okay. Hey, we have next, right? We're going to rule with Yahweh Shai, man. Do the power of the Most High. Okay. And um, last one, because she says they need us. Isaiah 2 and uh, um, uh, uh, 2. And they shall come to pass in the last days that, you, that the mountain of the Lord house shall be established in the top of the mountains. And shall be exalted above the hills, and all the nations shall flow on to it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. And, he, and we will walk in his paths. For, that, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And, ye, and, and he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruner hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they, they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come ye, and let us walk in the light of the Lord. All right, and that's what's happening. Let us walk in the light of the Lord. What is the light of the Most High, Yahweh Shai? He's the light bearer. All right? He's the light. He, he said he had the light. Okay? So with that, um, we are wanted, men of Israel, 
Kormi Arshala, rise, rise Israel, rise men, put on our strength, which is none other than Yahweh Shai from the power of the Holy Father, Yahweh. Kal Halal, Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh by Hashim the blindness to the apostles of GMS, the blindness to Connecticut elders of GMS, peace and salutations, salutations to brothers in this country and all the world, prophesy on the true name of Yahweh Shai, King of the Universe.